Exactly. Um, you guys talked about how spread out the, the, the vintage, mm -hmm. the Minnesota with the axe, yeah. where the axe used to be. How much in the offseason was this a motivating game yeah. that happened last year? I mean, we have a, a case for the axe in, in our locker room, um, a display case, and obviously we didn't win, and throw that picture up, and you're walking past it every day. and. Um, kind of have that image in your head when you're going to lift or you're going to work out or get extra film study and um, do what you got to do. So um, it's always an image that that's in our head when we're when we're going throughout our day and we're always thinking about it. And um, the week's finally here and we finally get to prepare. What is that image? Uh, just a Minnesota with the axe. And is it still? In, it's been in there all all season. Uh, yeah. From what you've seen, uh, you just kind of started to prepare their offense, what's different about it or what seems most mm -hmm. challenging compared to what you saw last year? Yeah, they have a lot of playmakers. Um, they got really good receivers, like Coach said. They got um, running backs that can run hard and a quarterback that can um, maneuver through the scheme um, just as he's asked and he can make every throw. The Lions got a lot of publicity for how big they are, but mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges when you're facing guys of that size? Yeah, I mean, the dude's like 400 pounds, right? <laughs> right. Obviously. <laughs> I'm two. I'm 235, and um, I'm strong, but I'm I'm not I'm not that strong. You know, he's 400 pounds. It brings a load, but um, there's things you can do that um, can get him off kilter. Did someone give you guys a the Axe Week speech yet? Think, doesn't someone do it every yeah. every year? Uh, Coach Herring gave one, and, and uh, I think Chris gave one this morning too. Just kind of um, emphasizing how big of a week this is and uh, how focused we have to be. When you look at those playmakers on the outside, the receivers, how much can you guys do up front to help the secondary when they've got a challenge like this? Mm -hmm. Like every week, if we affect the passer, it makes their job that much easier. And uh, it, it works vice versa, too. If they're uh, making the quarterback hold on and second-guess his reads, we can get we can get home on. This is a big game every year, obviously, but you guys are obviously know what's at stake in your mm -hmm. mind. Is this the kind of biggest one you've been a part of so far since you came to Wisconsin? Uh, yeah, I mean, Minnesota, like you said, Minnesota's big every year. Um, but all, all that there is to play for, um, I, I'd, I'd call this one of the biggest games I've been a part of, yeah. You kind of feel that motivation to, to finish what you guys have started. You put yourself in a position to win the West like you guys wanted to early in the season. Yeah, and right now it's just focused on this game and um, what we can do and how, how, we can, um, how our play can affect what they're doing. Let's see, Zach. Not to bring bring up harsh memories, but what do you remember from that loss? Like, you know, what's the, in the locker room last year against Minnesota, and what memories do you have from that right afterwards? Yeah, I just remember we don't have the axe now, and we're um, looking to get it back. Every other senior class until last year had gotten to chop down the goalposts, and it, you guys had it for so long. Do you think not having it has given this group a greater appreciation for what it means when you do have it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys. Um, in our program right now don't know what it felt like to not have it. Um, so, so now to walk into the locker room and um, see it empty, um, it's, a, it's a different feeling and we have a different mindset going into this one. They have an offense that thrives on big plays and mm -hmm. there's been other offenses lately that have done the same. Are there certain areas you think you guys as a defense have to shore up to, to prevent? I mean, is there like a common thread or a common theme in some of these games where they're other teams have gotten bigger plays. Is it different? Every uh, obviously, offenses work to get the big plays, and we work to minimize them. But I don't think there's a common thread.